still have more of Route 214 to cover before we get to Pastora City. What a better way to start it off than the Battle of China. Yes. That's usually what we do anyway in Battle Trainers. We split every episode, because that's what Pokemon is all about. And this person starts off with a dust go. Well, since the next gym leader is actually kind of tough, I leveled up all my Pokemon a little bit. Now let's go ahead and use Shadow Claw. Dust Girl is probably not the best ghost type in the world. The only thing Dust Girl has is good defense and special defense, which means it's a pretty good tank. Jabra, yeah, let's keep Mad Monkey right where he is, because. Um, we still got two Pokemon on my team that have yet to evolve, and one of them is my starter, which I'm actually going to try to evolve this episode. The other one's Glygar, and I have no idea when or how I'm gonna up how I'm gonna evolve him, so. Oh, we'll just wait and see. Now, I do want to make him a Gliscor because um it's Diamond and Pearl, it's a center Pokemon. So So we got a face. One of these collectors again. Looks like he's got a good Pokemon. What a good normal type Pokemon. Oh, oh, I know this guy. He's got, he's got the three EV evolutions in the Kanto region. So, Jolteon being the fast one is pretty good. And it's some special attack. It's very fast, like I said. All right. Ooh, that's enough to level us up to level 36, which means after this fight, we're gonna evolve, and I wanna learn close combat? Sure. Let's just give it a mock punch for that. I forgot how to learn mock punch and learn close combat. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, next up is Vaporeon. Well, we'll just have to send in Dark Spark for this one. And just use a lecture right now. Alright, Vaporeon being the pretty good tank. It's got a lot of special attack and it's got a lot of HP. It's not fast though. And then she's Thunderfang. Oh, missed? I didn't even know Thunderfang missed. I thought it always. I thought it had 100% accuracy. It must have like 90 or something. Oh well. Oh, it has quick attack. Probably because it's from the EV and EV has quick attack. So, let's see if that does it. Should because of Lux Ray's high attack. I mean, he's got some good attack though. He's probably one of the best physical attackers on my team. And last but not least is Flareon. Now, I just scripted the other two pretty well, but Flareon is no, nothing special. Honestly, it's the worst EV evolution ever. There's no reason to use it. So let's just give it a go. See? That's simple. Well, the other two are simple too, but they actually. And the only one who actually gave me a little bit of trouble was Vaporeon, because I missed, but. <coughs> oh! And Monferno is evolving into its final stage. Yes, it's time for the starter to become the evolution. Infernape. And now it's Mad Monkey. Sure, and he's got fire coming out of the top of its head. Its eyes are black and yellow. What can't you tell about that thing that it's evil? Alrighty, we are just about done with this route, but we are at Valor Lakefront. So this is where we gotta go in order to get to Pastoral. It's sort of a, uh... Well, I'll take a look at these guys. This is a legendary Pokemon, is in here? Red Gyarados is in the Lake of Rage. Well, that's nice, but... And if you try to go this way, this is Sunny Shore City. But this guy will stop you because, um... There's a blackout there, so that stinks, sort of. <laughs> to get around this place, you pretty much need, uh... Rock Climb either way. Oh, I think I took the wrong path. Anyway... Um... Here we go. No, that's not it. Oh, a PP up. That's pretty good, but I'm not sure which way he's out of here. I think it's no, it's not this way. It should be way down here, I think. Oh, is there a hidden item right there? No. Yeah, I took the wrong path. Let me try that again. 
Well, I get those two items by rock climbing. How do you get... What's this? The restaurant, eh? Let's go inside of it. Oh, I think I should battle trainers inside of here, so I'll do that right now. I just like, guess I keep Lux or Jet up front. You see? She said we'd like to, or he said we'd like to battle us. It's actually a double battle. It's a collector. Oh, a Feebass and a Lazaya. Alright. And I guess we'll take them. Let's take them on. So yeah, um, Jafun is my flying type type now. Well, he's not my flying type. I mean, he it is, but I try to use him more of a ghost type in, like, dark and stuff like that. But I did teach him fly because, um, um, uh, my star actor now already has defrag. I need to just in close combat. And Float didn't even need to fly, so that was a waste. Yeah, he's still up in the air. <laughs> I don't care if we lose, I'm still a hip guy. That's nice. Alright, next battle is his very first one. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll battle you. Alright. Oh, I'm trying to challenge by one of these PIs again. Or PIs, whatever you want to call them. There's a Finian and a Rhyme one. Yeah. I've got some pretty good Pokemon that I might want to see from my Pokédex. Alright. Now, I'm just learning the Ominous Wind. And I just have one question about it. How come it doesn't hit both people? Like, I don't, I, I don't get that. See, it, it does only hit one person, yet the wind is like everywhere. I don't know why. Yes, thing is down. And that, yeah, I don't know if you pronounce what he is, P.I. or Pi or P.I. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, next people. Yeah, let's go and face these guys. Alright, oh, a school kid and, oh, Quakesire. Well, no doubt about it, Quakesire is going to be good. Yeah, first, because... Quakesire is actually really bulky, and it's pretty good. Oh, he raised face. Oh, good thing I'm using physical attack with uh, Jazz. But yes, defense spell. That's good. But Ominous Wind is actually a special attack, so that's not good. Oh, it killed it anyway. That's too bad. <laughs> and Pikachu, and Pichu is done away. Alrighty, I don't really care about that. Punch. Payback. I just took care of it anyway, so I don't know why I would want to use payback anyway. Alright. We're just playing with the Oh, he still has got another one. Oh, You're kidding me. Pacho Lucy. You know how much of pain these things are? I sure don't seem like it, but yeah, they are. Oh, come on, he's even holding a berry? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Who is supposed to be fucking... Oh, fuck's so, so. yeah. Probably because he's the one who's not paralyzed. I just want to use playback because I feel like it. Oh, it killed it. It was that easy? Oh, well. I don't think we're going to get through this whole schoolhouse here. Or restaurant, whatever. Because we still got two more people to fight. And we're coming up on the time limit here, so... I'm actually going to switch both. I'm going to switch Sharp and Luxury to the front for this fight. And then that'll do it for this episode, I believe. Alright. So we are coming up on the one minute time limit actually right now, so he's only got one Pokemon each child and Perugly. Oh god. <laughs> oh come on. Perugly, are you kidding me? Why? 
I'm just gonna take out Shut Up first because it's a piece of cake. Ah, uh -huh. piece of cake. Maybe I should have used sword skills, but yeah. Oh, probably, probably faster than that one. Huh? It probably is pretty fast. Even oh, look at his appearance. He's huge. The cat that weighs like a hundred pounds and is five foot tall. I don't know how that cat didn't explode. Whatever. Slap. Oh, barely didn't take it out. Thing with him. Okay, keep doing that. He wants a physical attack. And this should take it out. And we're about to time on it, so I gotta get going right now. I don't care. How much money I get or anything, I gotta get going. 